Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to What's on Tap, hosted by Derek Egler. I'm your host with the most, Derek Egler. Here for episode number 82. Uh, yes, folks, hitting episode 82 of What's on Tap, hosted by yours truly, Derek Egler. Uh, today, guys, I was just looking at this uh, little box of, well, empty six-pack here. Uh, pretty cool looking. This is what we're doing today, guys, on episode 82. This is one of my favorite ghosts, and you guys know how I love the ghosts. But this one right here um, is one of my faves. It is the Briny Melon Gosa from Anderson Valley um, Brewing Company. Uh, guys, they are out of uh, Anderson Valley, Calif Boone Valley, California. Um, Solar powered brewery. Um, since 1987, Anderson Valley Brewing Company has been handcrafting authentic craft beer with balance and complexity. We are quality obsessed, relentlessly innovative, and dedicated to sustainability sustainably producing beer for rum the highest quality ingredients that nature provides seriously ask anyone so guys they're briny melangosa here um here's what it says our briny melangosa boasts a thirst quenching tartness that's perfectly balanced by the subtle flavors and aromas of watermelon gentle additions of sea salt create a refreshing harmony between the acidity and fruity sweetness leading to a clean dry finish so guys, this is, like I said, uh, episode 82 of What's on Tap, hosted by Derek Egler. We're doing the Anderson Valley, the legendary Boonville beer here, folks. The Barini Melangosa. And this is, folks, my last one. Imagine that. Let's see, I may have gotten these quite a while back. Ooh, it's heading, heading, heading up. I don't know what it says. Doesn't have a born on date there. It smells briny and melony. Like a briny melon. And I got this in a six pack, guys. It was uh, at the store. I saw the labeling. I was like, I've heard about them. I'd like to try that. I did do the uh, the rose fram bra. What? The other Anderson Valley I did, it's over there, the box at least. I don't know why in the heck I've got the box still. But we have done Anderson Valley once before. Um, we did the Anderson Valley, I want to say, yes, there we go. Episode number 59 was Anderson Valley Fram, Frambois Rosa Gosa. Uh, it hit number 27, guys. I don't know how this one's going to do here, um, but we're bound to find out. I am sure of that. Um, but yeah, like there's the box. I don't need it anymore, obviously. So, just was going to show up for reference. Um, I have no idea what the ABV is. I'm sure it's not too much. Oh, 4.2. There we go. Still heady up on this one. I do like to... Definitely getting a little sourness. Um... <clears throat> Like I said, I have no, I, I can't remember. I don't think it's that, it's not really aged by any means. I just kind of had some, drank it. I was like, hey, not bad, not bad. But you still see the head, the here, head here on this uh, briny melon gosa here. I mean, good color there. It's good color. I do like, like that nice, you know, golden hue, you know, the head on it. You get the melon, briny melon on the nose, honestly. Like, a brined melon. A very exquisite ghost, if I do so, say so myself. You get the nice sourness. Um, it is refreshing. And you get that salt on the end, which I love. I love to take a drink of, of a gosa and then lick the lips and you get that salt afterwards i love that i think that is one of the best things in the world for me at least i mean it's awesome <clears throat> i did have a margarita mama so maybe it's like genetic like ingrained that i do i i i, I don't know i don't know no idea but we are getting close to christmas very close. I think we're within 20 days now of Christmas. It's, whew, hope everybody's ready. I don't know if I am or not, really. I really don't. 
usually gets uh, some National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation in. Uh, haven't got that in other than once, I think, this year. Do need to hit that quite a bit more. I do love that movie. Quite a quite a fave of myself for Christmas time. Um, got to kind of hit up uh, some of the other ones as well. I mean, just uh, just to hit them up. I mean, you know, why not? Get the melon on the nose. Brininess. Mm-hmm. You get that nice sour melon. And then there is a brininess to it. Like, uh, <clears throat> and by brininess, I mean, like, your, um, your pickle juice. Uh, that's like a brine, um, a pickle brine. Um, just like a salty, nice, sour, I mean, watermelon mix. Like, it's very nice. I mean, placing wise, uh, this is, this is one of your better ghosts. Um, it is out there. Um, I did notice my number one, I was going through some things and the number one, uh, beer that's on the list. Um, and it was, it was actually aged and I never put it was on, on there that it was aged, but it was aged. Um, number one still, I think it was two and a half years, probably three years, something like that, but it was aged. Now it's even older now. And I've got three bottles of it. I was like, what? Yes, that's awesome. Three bottles of this stuff is great. I thought I had like two and two, two of that one and two of the the, sour, the special sour ale, um, but no, come come uh, come find out it, uh, it was three of those and one of the sour ones. I was like, uh, I'm okay with this. I mean, that's that is the best beer I've ever had in my entire life. Like, it is just phenomenal. Not I haven't found one to beat it yet, which you know I'm probably not going to either. Still a nice, crisp, clean sourness. So this is a good one. You guys ever have a chance to get the, uh, try the Anderson Valley. If you're ever in California, I'll never, I mean, look, I mean, that, look, just look, look how cool that is. It's like a little bear drinking with antlers. I mean, that's pretty cool, man. That's just a cool can, the background there. Um, I mean, if you're ever in Boone, uh, Booneville, California. I mean, I would definitely check these guys out if I'd ever be in California. I, I won't be, but I'm just saying if I, if you are, I mean, if you're in California to go check, check these guys out. Cause I'm sure they get probably got some funky offerings. Um, but I got some pretty good stuff. Uh, now this goes, it's definitely crushable guys. I mean, I would, you could sit and just crush away all day on these. Um, delightful. I would say it is probably better than that one. Oh, it's not there though. That witty was just wow. If you're gonna be better than the witty, you gotta come with some fire. Yeah. And it's better than that. I mean, this is a very nice, um, nice, relaxing, chill, um, Ghost, it's it's very very nice, um, and like I said, at four point two ABV, I, I mean you definitely crushable on these for sure, like easily crushable. Um, drink about drinkability, um, definitely off the charts on this one. It's very good. And this one is aged. It's, it's been around a little bit, maybe six months or a year or something like that. I, I don't know for sure, but it's been around in my closet and fridge for a while, but it's good. Mm. And that nice sourness to it, oof. An all around very good beer. Um, you would not think you, you put some brine in, into a watermelon that it would be very well uh, done, but the, yeah, they've, they've done it very well uh, with the briny melon. Probably really shouldn't have thrown that box all the way over there because <laughs> is what it is, though. 
whatevs. You know? You know. So yeah, and I, of course, don't have a pen over here that I can use, so. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Things around here just come up missing like you would not, you would not believe. It's amazing the amount of things you, you think you have somewhere and they're just, they're gone. They're, they disappear. Yep. Not too, uh, unfortunately, not too much crazy exciting on episode 82. Like, nothing really nuts. Hmm. I mean, I guess I will grab a blue pen quick and that, so, um, I mean, give me, like, I don't know, you, you can hit, like, pause for, like, ten, two seconds, like, three seconds, maybe, like, five, maybe, I don't know, something like that. Look, I'm back. See? That wasn't too bad. There we are. All right. I didn't come back with any funny mask or anything. So, every, hey, every, everything's good, you know? All right. It, uh, it does boast. Yeah, it does. The thirst question tartness, yep. It is balanced by aromas of watermelon, yep. It does. It, it does really, really kind of have that, that great harmony between the acidity and fruity sweetness. <clears throat> I mean, since 1987, these guys have been uh, have been doing this, and they've been doing a good job. Obviously, I mean, I being the connoisseur of sorts, have definitely recommended this company. I mean, like I said, I had the uh, the rose frambois, frambois rose ghost, and that was a good one. Um, definitely nowhere near this one. I mean, this one was. Woo-wee! I mean, I would say it is right right there with the uh, the cranberry ginger. You know, it really is. I mean, they're good. Both good. Very good. <clears throat> I would have to see what... Uh, oh, there it is. Ooh, the vibe. Ew, is this... The vibe's nice, man. That's good stuff. I don't know. I might be... Uh, by me... Uh, I mean, it's better than that. It, it is better than the ballad. I, I, I will say that. I, I definitely do, do say it's probably better than the ballad. Yeah, and I, I do. I think it's better than that. I would go with better than the Martian. Martian was 12, but I don't know. I don't think it is. I don't really go with more than the po the vibrant. Um, very delightful, though. And the vibrant has that funkiness to it, which is delightful as well. I will put this um, as the new number 12. Or, Yeah. So our Briny Melon Gosa from Anderson Valley is going to be our new number 12 on the list. Making it in number 12 of the list here. So not bad, not bad there at all.
Well, I'm almost done with the cup, guys. I mean, I've been cutting them short. I haven't had a ton around going around, you know. I'm just uh, just putting in a little bit and uh, giving a little bit of knowledge here. Uh, but you guys know the drill. Hey, um, episode 82, guys, is going to be in a, uh, a wrap here. Uh, episode 82 of What's on Tap, hosted by Derek Egler. Obviously, I am your host with the most, Derek Egler. Um, going to say peace uh, out here. Um, and have a good weekend, everybody. Have a great uh, day. Um, everybody, have fun. Peace, love, and happiness. Um, Anderson Valley, Briny Mellon hit uh, episode 82. Uh, we are putting it now. This Gosa goes number 12 on our list. Um, be back uh, with episode 83 in no time. Until then, uh, you guys have a good one.